Hi, it's uh, me, Henka, uh, game designer at Colossal Order, and with me is... Damien, the CTO at Colossal Order, and we are going to talk a little bit about the editor and its functionalities. So in City Skylines 2, we took a different approach from the first game uh, to how to approach uh, content creation. And uh, instead of having separate editors, which are under a very specific area of a asset or data that goes into the game, we have a single editor that allows for uh, pretty much everything. So uh, we have map creation, asset creation, and uh, propping of assets as well, which are all performed in the same interface. Uh, and we also have code modding, which uh, this one is done separately and does not require to use the editor in order to create content for that. The game deals with the code modding at loading time and it's a separate aspect. So what we have now is the uh, game editor in its current state and we are going to demo it for you guys. And we will start with the map editor. Okay, so uh, at first we're going to go uh, and select a map here and load it. And here you can see the map uh, and you'll be able to edit uh, basically everything you can see here. Uh, roads, uh, terrain formations, uh, placing props like trees and and other, other terrain props there like the castle you, you see there. And we start with the uh, terrain tools. You have the basic uh, and familiar tools with you that you can use. And you'll see that you also have the same tool options available as you have in the game. Uh, you can uh, smooth things and level, and it's very easy to use. The UI is still a work in progress. In this video, this is a placeholder uh, that just enables functionality so that we can demonstrate what it performs. And you can also see here that we are using the same tools for the road building as well that you have in the game and uh, you are able to use uh, all of the cool tool options here as well and we have also even more options for the editor and you can place trees of course and we have the tree brush and and individual trees and same goes for other crops as well and here you can see that you can actually access all of the objects that you've placed in the map and you can uh, continue to adjust their uh, features there and, uh, and fine-tune everything to your liking. You can also select uh, different types of climates for your maps. So if there's going to be what the weather is going to be in the map and, and how the sun is going to behave here in the map. And you will also uh, be able to, of course, uh, add water and uh, resources in the map so that you can uh, have cool things there. Yeah, so once uh, you have done everything cool that Hank I mentioned, uh, earlier, you can then save your map and mark it as publishable so that you can start a new game from that map. And uh, best of all is you will be able to share that map on the Paradox mod so that other people can enjoy your map just the same way that you do.